Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke 24, the last chapter. Jesus has been crucified. He's risen from the dead, but he's still kind of missing. And now we're going to get this story. It's going to take us three or four mornings. The road, the travel, the journey on the road to Emmaus. So we're going to start this morning with Luke 24, verses 13 to 16. And take it away. Now behold, two of them were traveling that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was seven miles from Jerusalem. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. So it was, while they conversed and reasoned, that Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were restrained so that they did not know him. So here are these guys. They're very sad. A, a tremendous evil thing has been done. Jesus, innocent Jesus, has been crucified. They were followers of Jesus. And they're, they're going back to Emmaus and maybe they're like moving really slow because when you're all depressed and there's nothing to look forward to and you know we thought he was going to be the Messiah we thought he was the Messiah and it, God looks down at you and I in our life he looks at the experiences we go through and he puts people in our pathway that tell us the truth or that inspire us to think of something in a different way to get us into the right place here's a case though where Jesus himself is going to appear to them but at first, he just kind of comes up and he's walking. You know how you're walking down the street, there's multiple people walking. And he sort of walks up with them and he's, he's kind of joining himself to their party. Do you think this is a coincidence? God knows when you're sad. God knows when you need some encouragement. And so Jesus now is going to sort of sneak into the picture here. <laughs> and what a wonderful ending it's going to be. But let's just start on this here and see. Here's the setting then, all right? They're going back. They're extremely sad. They're depressed. They're maybe even angry at what has happened. They can't believe it. They're talking about it, but they don't want to talk about it. And here, here comes this, this traveler they don't recognize. And there he is in their midst. Let's see tomorrow morning what Jesus does next. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you that when we are discouraged or we have need, that you will send a servant Sometimes you yourself would even come, just as we're going to read in this incident, and encourage and strengthen us. But usually you don't just come straight out and just encourage and strengthen us. You don't just come and hand out the balloons. You try to encourage us, engage the brain, start thinking, think about this, process this spiritually. Help us, Lord, to be people who take the events of our life and process them spiritually. And Lord, thank you that you don't leave us to struggle you don't leave us just to unravel and, and lay out and die in the street, but you come and you give us encouragement and hope. Lord, I know there are people watching this presentation today. Some are very sad. Some have different ways that they need encouragement and hope. Lord, would you give them encouragement and hope this day? Thank you that we can make that request. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Watch, watch for divine appointments. God may send someone into your, across your pathway today, into your experience, to direct you toward the kingdom. May his blessings be with you today.